Hello, my garden scholars. I'm your plantologist, Archie Warner. The plant you are discovering today is the fine line buckthorn. And now that you've taken a few moments to read up on its basic habits, I'm going to cultivate your mind with the knowledge that truly makes this such a great plant. First of all, is the fine line a shrub or is the fine line an accent plant? Who cares? It's just plain cool and there's tons of uses for this guy in the garden. Now before we get going, I want to start out and squash a few misconceptions. Number one, no, the fine line buckthorn does not have thorns. And number two, no, the fine line is not an invasive plant in any way. It just gets that bad rap from its weedy cousins and no one wants to get judged on what they do. Now to get into it. The best thing about this plant is its very narrow and upright shape. A large specimen may reach a height of 10 feet, but only a few foot wide. And these plants are also very easy to keep short with a quick prune off the top. Beyond its shape, the fine line also has a very cool, long and slender leaf. These leaves give a light and airy feel to the structure of this plant, bordering on a tropical vibe. The colors of these leaves are also unique because they are a dark olive color that stand out amongst the traditional greens in our gardens. The fine line can tolerate a medium amount of shade, but definitely does best in full sun. It can also thrive in numerous soil conditions, with the exception of sites that are extremely dry or constantly wet. It also tolerates deer browsing very well. Although they may come and pick the top few inches of buds off, it will cause no long-term damage to this plant. The fine line buckthorn may be the most versatile plant in the garden, and it can be used for multiple things like hedgerows, complementing vertical architecture, framing pathways, screening different views, and anywhere you may need a tall structure in a small space. But my favorite is to use them as accent plants in multiple locations throughout the garden to encourage eye movement back and forth. Have fun with this plant because wherever you decide to put it, you can't be wrong. Well, so long my garden scholars, and as always, if you would ever like additional help, never hesitate to ask.